It was supposed to be a moment of triumph, a dazzling display of American ingenuity and human ambition. On January 28, 1986, millions of people across the country sat glued to their televisions as the Space Shuttle Challenger prepared to launch, carrying seven brave astronauts, including Krista McAuliffe, a beloved teacher chosen to make history as the first civilian in space. But in just 73 unthinkable seconds, that dream turned into a nightmare. The shuttle erupted into a fireball in the sky, and a nation watched in stunned silence as joy turned to horror. Here's the viral hook. You think you know the story of the Challenger disaster, but what you don't know, the chilling behind-the-scenes truths, the ignored warnings, and the heartbreaking human errors will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about that tragic day. The story of Challenger didn't begin on that bitterly cold January morning. It started months, even years earlier, as NASA pushed the boundaries of space exploration in a race to inspire the world and outshine its rivals. But behind the scenes, cracks, literal and figurative, were forming. Engineers at Morton Thiokol, the company that built the shuttle's solid rocket boosters, had raised alarms about the O-rings, critical seals that could fail in low temperatures. Those warnings, buried in paperwork and brushed aside in the urgency to keep to NASA's ambitious schedule, would prove catastrophic. In the hours before launch, as Florida's temperatures dipped far below normal, engineers begged for a delay. Their concerns? Largely dismissed. The countdown continued. When the shuttle roared into the sky, it carried not just astronauts and dreams, but also the weight of those ignored red flags. 73 seconds in, the O-rings failed exactly as the engineers feared, causing a chain reaction that ripped the shuttle apart. Millions watching live, including school children across the nation, struggled to comprehend what they had just seen. NASA scrambled to respond, initially referring to it as an anomaly, rather than the disaster it truly was. What most people didn't know was that, in those chaotic moments, investigators were already piecing together the damning truth. This tragedy wasn't just an accident. It was a preventable failure. The aftermath was devastating. The nation mourned its heroes. Francis Scobby, Michael Smith, Ellison Onizuka, Judith Resnick, Ronald McNair, Gregory Jarvis, and Krista McAuliffe, the teacher whose smile had captured the hearts of millions. Behind the grief, however, came anger. The Rogers Commission, assembled to investigate the disaster, uncovered a chilling culture within NASA, one where schedule and image often took priority over safety. One of the most haunting moments in history came when physicist Richard Feynman, frustrated by NASA's evasions, famously demonstrated how the O-rings hardened in cold temperatures by dunking one into a glass of ice water during a live hearing. That simple act exposed the fatal flaw and the systemic failures that led to the disaster. But there's more to the Challenger story than the tragedy itself. Few people know that the crew cabin remained intact after the explosion, and evidence suggests that the astronauts may have been conscious for part of their terrifying descent. Few also realize how deeply this disaster reshaped NASA, forcing a complete overhaul of its safety culture and grounding the shuttle program for nearly three years. Out of that pain came progress, safer designs, stricter protocols, and a renewed commitment to the lives of those brave enough to venture beyond Earth. Nearly four decades later, the Challenger disaster still resonates. Not just as a tragedy, but as a sobering reminder of the cost of complacency. It's a story about human ambition, human error, and the heavy price of ignoring warning signs. It's about seven extraordinary individuals whose courage inspired a generation and whose legacy lives on in every safe launch that followed. So, the next time you think you know what happened that day, remember this. The Challenger wasn't just a shuttle. It was a lesson written in fire across the morning sky, a lesson we can never afford to forget.